It's pepper time. Welcome to the Hoppin' Hot Sauce Pepper Show. The only time, right? We're back. I shaved my beard. I shaved my beard off. I'm, I haven't shaved in a couple days, but you know, the lion's share of the thing is gone. Because I only live one time and it's good to change it up in life. But we didn't change anything with the sauce. It's still the best sauce in the world. It's the best hot sauce. The holidays are here. Right? We're, th we're in the thick of it. It's cool making hot sauce during the holiday. During the holiday season because people buy it. And they send it to their friends and their family. It's cool to be part of that. I'm not one of those huge e-commerce Goliath behemoths that you hear about on the news all the time. I just do it with my wife and my mom and my stepfather. It's a family thing. So we're slow and uncoordinated. Like a family of people. Sometimes, sometimes, not a lot of the time, but sometimes we're a family. We can barely tolerate each other. But mostly we love each other. We're a family. It's cool. It's neither here nor there. Just to tell you it takes forever to get our act together. But we got our act together. Hoppin' Hot Sauce is a movement. The Pepper Show is a thing. So when you get the hot sauce, what are you going to do? You're going to share it with people. Yes. Definitely you should get some Hoppin' Hot Sauce. Share it with your friends. Because they'll be like, uh, you're a nice person. And... You have good taste in hot sauce. Even if they're like those kind of people. I know these people. Even if they're the kind of people that are like. I'm not a hot sauce person. You can tell them. But, but you got to try this. Because they do have to try it. It's different. It's like a condiment. Put it on tortilla chips. Make friends, share it with them. They'll be happy. People will like you, and people like hot sauce. I've been cooking everything with mayonnaise. It's kind of weird. Makes me queasy to think about. When I read this article in the paper a couple of weeks ago, it's like, cook your proteins with mayonnaise. So I've been rubbing mayonnaise all over chicken and ribeye steaks and salmon fillets. It makes the crust really crusty and super good with hot sauce. So I admit it, it's weird to rub mayonnaise on protein. But I've been doing it. It's pretty good. I'm, I might try it again. I got this cool book, Peppers of America. By Maricel A. Persia. Maricel E. Persia. It's an encyclopedia of peppers. A study of the dispersal of chili pepper species across the Americas. It's like a good reference book. I got it at the used bookstore in San Jose. And you got to give a shout out to Recycle Books. That's my home bookstore in San Jose. It was 20 bucks. It's a pretty good book. Let's check it out. It has some information about Puya Chili. Which it's hard to find information about Puya. It's what we use. One of the main chilies in Hoppin' Hot Sauce. There's Puya Chili. And chipotle meco. And in extra hot there's habanero and spicy cayenne. But for chili puya, check out what it says. It's pretty cool. The Spanish word puya. Spelled P 
U Y A, which I thought it was spelled with a double L and just anglicized to P U Y A. But I found out that means goad or steel point. A perfect description of a skinny chile that packs a sharp sting. In Zacatecas, one of Mexico's largest producers of chiles, entire plants are uprooted when the pods ripen to a bright red and then heaped on the ground until the chiles are dry. The pods are removed from the stems at processing plants where the chiles are packaged for sale. The slender, thin-skinned chili resembles a smaller brother of Wajio chili, with which it is sometimes used. From carmine red, it dries to a smooth, glossy, reddish-brown. And after soaking and pureeing, it takes on a rich, brilliant hue, somewhere between wine-colored and orange-red. The pulp is a little thin textured and acidic with no fat and none of the sweet full body quality of the ancho chile. It has a straightforward penetrating pungency that makes it good for boosting heat when combined in a sauce with other mild chiles, which is kind of like Chipotle Meco's mild but it has this wonderful color. That's the color of Hoppin' Hot Sauce from Puya Chilies. So cool book. Published 2017 by 10 Speed Press. Peppers of the Americas by Maricel E. Persia. Cool, cool book. Thank you for watching The Pepper Show. Hopping hot sauce is the best hot sauce in the world. Hook yourself up. Share it with your friends and family. Order now for the holiday. You need this. You're worth it. You deserve this kind of thing. Let's play the jingle. Hopping hot sauce. It's the best hot sauce. Hopping hot sauce. It's the best sauce in the world. The world, I'm telling you. Listen to that beautiful singer. Listen to that, listen to that beautiful singer. Telling you exactly what you need to know, exactly when you need to know it. Go to hoppinhotsauce.com, hook yourself up. Thank you for watching The Pepper Show.